Today we're talking about bicep, and probably the most popular biceps exercise in the gym is barbell curls. I love barbell curls for two reasons. One, it really attacks your biceps brachii and your brachialis, and two, you can really get some good cheap curls. If you don't have a trainer with you and you want to get a few extra reps, you can use your low back and your glutes to throw the bar up and you slowly lower it with your biceps. It's not as good as having a trainer, but it's the next best thing. So if you can do elbow flexion and forearm supination, you're really getting a good contraction on your bicep. A great exercise for that would be dumbbell curls. When you do dumbbell curls, you can start with a neutral grip, come all the way up to a flexed elbow and a supinated grip. That's a little bit better for your bicep than a barbell curl would be. A third muscle we're gonna talk about today is the brachial radialis. It's this muscle right here. You can see it really comes out when you have a neutral grip. So, start with a neutral grip and do hammer curl. That'll really target your brachial radialis. But probably the best exercise for your biceps is incline dumbbell curls. We already talked about elbow flexion and forearm supination, but your bicep is also responsible for a little bit of shoulder flexion. So if you start in an incline position and you move your elbow up, plus flex your elbow, plus turn your forearm. Now you're really getting the best contraction possible for your bicep. We just talked about an exercise that has a full range of motion. How about one that has a short range of motion? That is preacher curls. The good thing about preacher curls is you get stabilization of your elbow, so it doesn't move. However, the range of motion is a lot shorter than standing barbell curls, and especially a lot shorter than standing dumbbell curls. You can also use cables, and you can also use TRX bands. And for variation, you could also use a reverse grip. That works the other side of your forearm, and it works your biceps out a little bit differently. Furthermore, some people believe if you do high pulley curls, you're gonna stretch out the short head of your bicep so you'll get a better contraction on the short head of your bicep. The most important thing is that you're working out. It's good for your heart, your lungs, and your muscles. These are some of the best exercises you can do for your biceps. A big thanks to Derek Riggins for helping us out on this video. If you need some personal training help from Derek or meal plans from Derek, his information is below. Our next exercise video is gonna be on high intensity interval training. Derek is gonna show us what you could do at home without any weights to get in a good workout. Click the circle to subscribe to see some of these exercise videos coming soon. And click the rectangle to see how we work out our traps. See you in the next video.